everyone, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with uh, what may look like my weekly makeup basket, but I'm actually doing a new project pan with Meg Phillips here on YouTube. We're doing eight products by April Fool's Day, and so we thought that we would go ahead and show you guys how we pick products for these type of projects because so many people are starting to do them and have been doing them, and I think that we can all learn from each other regardless of where we're at with um, our project painting -ness. <laughs> And that's my dog Morty kind of walking around. But anyways, I just wanted to walk you guys through how I pick products for project pans and just maybe give you some tips along the way that maybe will help you if you are new to project painting or if you kind of find yourself in a rut with project painting. Uh, yeah, maybe I could help. So if this is something you want to see, then just keep watching. Okay, the first thing I do is have a separate bag to put all the products in. This is one that came from Ipsy a little while ago. Content, pretty important stuff, and it says breakups to makeup. <laughs> so cute. But, um, you know, if you had Ipsy or any subscription service, this would you would have a bag from that. Or if you, you know, you get those free makeup bags a lot of times with uh, samples, purchases from Ulta or Sephora or wherever. Um, so I like to put items in a bag because sometimes I forget which items are in Project Pan. So it kind of helps separate it out. But it also helps with my videos because I do weekly makeup baskets and I do the Project Pan update. So it helps me to keep products together and make sure I'm not being too redundant with you all um, about the same products. So that's the first tip is have some way of identifying um, which of your items are Project Pan items. Secondly, I like to go to cream products first. So let me pull this out for you all. Okay, here we have my cream products. And I select cream products first just because they go bad a lot quicker than powder products. So in here, we're going to kind of walk through every item because this is what I would do if the camera was not turned on. I'm personally really good about using mascaras in only three months so I personally don't put them into my project pans but if you are someone who is A, either not good at throwing them out after three months or B, you're doing a larger project and kind of want some gimme items then I would suggest a mascara but for me it's just not necessary. Uh, next foundations, this L'Oreal True Match Lumi is the only foundation I have. And if you're curious, I'm in W3 Nude Beige. This is the only foundation I have. So again, I do not feel a need to get rid of that or you put it in a project. I am doing another project pan that's going on. I'll link down below. Um, Love's Project Pan. And so I have two concealers in there. And once I use those up, this NYX Dark Color Corrector will be my only concealer. So I don't feel a need to use this up. So I'm going to put that to the side. These two primers, from Smash, one's from Smashbox and one's from L'Oreal. These are my only two uh, face primers. So I do not feel a need to pan those. I feel like I am okay in that department. And then eyeliners, I only have two, one from NYX and one from Lancome. Um, so since I only have two, I don't feel a need to get rid of those. I have these two sample sizes of tinted moisturizer. One is Dr. Dart. It's a day tint moisturizer. And the other is Coats Face. It is a natural skin, um, lightly tinted moisturizer as well. So since these are, are kind of... I don't know about you guys, but I think they're kind of annoying to have such little products um, that could easily be used up. So th that's kind of what I think about with project pans are what are the products that are just like just use them up. You know what I mean? So this would be two of them. I'm going to count them as one because they are very small sizes. And I have only used each of them about one time. So they are practically brand new. So this is going to count as item number one. The next thing I look at are things that are almost done. So this is this Lorac Behind the Scene Eye Primer. It's an eyeshadow primer that came with my Lorac Pro 2. And it's about halfway done. There's a lot of air in here so you can't see where it's at. But um, I'm going to go ahead and use this up because it's, again, annoying that it, that little thing is only has half the amount of product in. The next thing are these two cream highlights. I, in my last project pan, went through 
Well, I should say, in my last two Project Pans, I went through a lot of cream highlights, and so these are the only two I have left. And so I'm going to go by um, how old they are, and this Clinique Chubby Stick is pretty recent, so I am not going to worry about this one. But the Benefit What's Up Cream Highlight, I've had since summer, and it is pretty much full. So I will count this as item number two in my Project Pan. Another tip is you don't want to have too much of one type of product. So you don't want to have too much cream products, too many powder products. You really want to have something that um, a good variety so it's easier to go through. So I do have four cream products in here. And I think I would like to have one of them be my project pan item. And so when it gets down to this, I go by two things. What is something that I could realistically use every day? Because in a project pan, you're using the same items day in and day out. And two, what is the oldest? What do I need to get out of my collection? And so going by that, I'm going to pick this Mary Kay Cream Eyeshadow. It's an apricot twist. And it's about halfway complete, but it is a little bit old. Um, let me... But it is pretty creamy. So I will go ahead and put this in. And this is definitely something I could use on a daily basis. So now I am up to four products. So I'm halfway through and half of my products are cream products. So let's move on to see what else we can pan. Alright, so next I'm just going to kind of browse through um, face products. So let me pull this out. Here are my face products. I have highlighters, bronzers, um, and face setting powders. And so one that I just know right off the bat that I want to use is I have this Milani product. This is 03 Natural. It is a powder foundation. If you watch my weekly makeup baskets, you know that I've been using this for the last couple weeks. But I decided that I do want to throw it into a project pan. I have a backup of a face powder and I just want to make sure that I don't have too many of one type of product open at one time. So I do want to use this up and it's also a little bit on the older side. It's under a year but it's my oldest powder that I have. So I am going to throw this in. This will be item number five. And then I'm going to kind of go through here. Um, highlighters. I love my highlighters. I don't feel a need to pan those, especially some of these beautiful limited edition ones like from MAC. Um, I don't want to have too many face powders. This is more of a setting powder. But I don't want to have too many in one project because they would be hard to pan. My Naked Flush. I love using this. Um highlighter bronzer set when I travel so I want to make sure I always have that on hand and so that leaves me down to two sample size deluxe sample size bronzers and so in a situation like this what I like to do is look at the back side and look at how many ounces are in a pro in each product um this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil has 0.14 ounces and this Park Avenue Princess Bronzer by Tarte has um, 0.11 ounces. So I'm going to go with the smaller one, 0.11 ounces, and this is like barely used. I think I've maybe used it once and swatched it once, so I'm going to use that. And just to give you a reference, I just panned a bronzer that had 0 0.33, um, what is that, ounces of product and that took me six months to use okay I'm two I'm up to six products and so here are my blushes blushes are insanely hard to pan and I tried doing one in my last project and failed but let's take a look I think I would like to try to pan one of these little tart one of these Tarte blushes, and I'm going to go with Classic. And this has 0 .05 ounces, so it has less product than the bronzer that I picked. And as you can see, I have used a good bit. The design isn't on there anymore. And so I think I will use this. And another tip for project pan is this is a bronzer bronzer blush but you can use them for other things like this like this could be uh, eyeshadow for both of them um, 
You could put some of these on, over a lip gloss on your lips and make a lipstick out of it. So you have to be very innovative with how you use products because if you use them for their sole purpose, you're probably not going to get through them in the time of your project pan. So I'm up to seven products. Um, lipsticks are incredibly hard for me to pan. So, um... Lip glosses are not as hard to pan, but let me come back to that. I was going to pull out my single eyeshadows, but I remembered that I wanted to add this. This is my Physician's Formula Classic Nudes Quad, and in my last project pan, I panned the ivory color, and so I want to go ahead and go over to this top color on the top right, and this is just a nice brown nude color. And this is one that I like to use to set my eye primers. And so I would like to go ahead and use up this whole pan in this project pan. And I, I think I can do it because I was able to do it with um, this one, the ivory. And it did take the full three months to get through it. And I would like to put a dip into this top one here. I don't necessarily need to hit pan, but I definitely want to see some progress on it because it's not really a color that I can use to set my eye primer in the future, but I think it would make a really pretty crease color. So that would be item number eight. All right, next I'm going to kind of look over my products to see if I'm completely satisfied with what I grabbed. These are all palettes, and I'm not going to worry about trying to pan any of my palettes. And these single eyeshadows, I don't have very many, and I feel fine with them. I don't feel a need to pan any of them. We already went through my creams. The only thing I'm kind of thinking about is panning a lip gloss. For example, you can kind of see right here I have some lip glosses. I'm pondering whether I should switch out this blush for this lip gloss. I'm thinking about switching it out just because the lip gloss will go bad more quickly than a powder would. And my I <laughs> painting a blush is incredibly difficult. And I think, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and switch it out and go with this butter gloss in Eclair. This is from NYX. And it's pretty much full. Here we go. Here are all the items that I will be panning for the next few months. Wish me luck on getting through all these products 100% and stay tuned for updates. And please go check out Meg's video. I love watching her. Um, she does a great job on her project pans as well. And I would love if you supported both of us along the way. And I would also encourage you all to join us on this project. And I would love to hear any additional tips that you have for project painting down in the comment section below. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!